Hello everyone, welcome back to part 5 of the Pong game. In this video we are going to work on some specific functionality of the game. We know that every time we start the game, the ball will start immediately moving by itself. And also when a player scores a point, the ball will start moving again by itself. And that's annoying. And we need to fix that. So. We go to the ball script and we need to create two new functions. The first function is going to be the stop ball function. And here where we are going to make the ball stop moving by setting the speed to zero. So speed equal zero. And the second function is the start ball. And here is where we are going to make the ball start moving again by setting the speed to 600. And we are going to give it a new direction. So we need to call the initialize ball direction function and save it. So we want the ball to stop moving every time a player scores a point and we want it to start moving again when we press a specific key like the spacebar button for example. And also we want the ball to stop moving when we first start the game. And to do that we are going to use these two functions inside the main level script. So in the main level script when the ball enter the left side we need to call the stop ball function so ball dot stop ball and the main thing for the right side and let's test it and it's working the ball is in the middle and it stopped moving now we want the ball to start moving again by pressing the spacebar button and we need to do that inside the physics process function so if input dot is action just pressed and we need to select UI select which is the spacebar button we want to call the start ball function so ball dot start ball and let's run the game again all right the ball is not moving and when I press the spacebar button, the ball start moving again and it's working fine. Now we want the ball to stop moving immediately when we start the game and we can do that in the ready function. We need just to call the stop ball function and let's see. fine the ball is not moving and when I press spacebar button the ball move again and everything is working fine and now we can make the game look better by adding a new label so we go to main lever and add labor move it to the top under the computer score labor and rename it to start labor now that labor will have a message telling us to press the spacebar button to start the game so press space to start and this is 
our message, we need to change its font and size. So we go to theme overrides and fonts. We need to create a new dynamic font like we did for the previous text and change the size to 40 and we need to go to layout and click on for rectangle and for the align select center and for the V align also center and I'm gonna give it a top margin of minus 70 and let's run the game So we have that text telling us to press the spacebar button to start the game. But we need to make that text hidden every time the ball starts moving. And in the main level script, we need to get access to that label. So on ready bar start label equal to start label. And when we press the spacebar button, we want to make that label to be hidden. So start label dot height. And we want it to be visible when the ball is stopped. So start label dot visible equal true. And the same thing on the bot enter the right side and let's run the game now the text is visible and when I press the spacebar button it will be hidden and when the bot is stopped it will be visible again so everything is working fine and this is it for today I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next part